Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to calculate year to date value on sales column by month wise in SQL. So YTD value. This is one of the important advanced SQL interview question. So first of all I will show my table, sales table. So this is my sales table which contains four columns, company, month, year and value. Here it is uh, 2022. When it comes to month, ABC company have made two transactions in first month whose value is 1250. Like this in second month two transactions and third month it is one transaction. And coming to XYZ two transactions in first month and one, one transaction in second month and in third month the company made three transactions. Now I want to calculate YTD, YTD value, year to date value by month wise on this value column. So the, my output should be like this, ABC in first month, first month, if you see the first month, it's 1200 plus 750, 1950, so 1950, so uh, you, you will get the YTD value like this. So ABC in second month, there is two, two, two transactions, 300 plus 500, 800. This 800 is added to the 1950 for the first month. So combinedly you will get 2750. So like this, third month it has only one, one transaction, 1400. It will directly add it to the 2750 to get 4150. So that is for ABC company. Coming to XYZ. XYZ in first month there are two transactions you will get the value as 1600 see 1600 YTD value so uh, for uh, second month it, it made only one transaction so if you added 1600 to 1700 you will get 3300 the company made in third month there are three transactions so commonly the value is 2550 so you will get 5850 as the YTD value so output should be like this so I want to our output will be like this how to write the query and how to use the windows function to get the desired output i will show now i uh, using by by using cte you will get the desired result cte for cte i am setting cte as is the keyword within parentheses you can write your statement select company comma month comma year and now i am using this sum sum of which column value sum of value so i give some some name like result result from sales table so if you use the aggregate function in this uh, as a select statement with along with other columns you have to specify the group by, uh, class group by and paste all these columns in the group by and close this so if you execute the same the, this query the inner, inner part of the cda so you will get the six records month wise but this is not aggregated value you see 1950 i will paste it in separate, separate window so 1950 in the month 1950 in the second month it will group by the some of the values in, in month wise but here we don't find a, any YTD calculation year to date calculation like what is shown here so for that you need to write one more select statement and one more one more war class to get the desired result then select company comma month year so 
I am using, I am taking this result, comma. So I am using the sum function on result. Uh, result using over class over partition by partition by company and comma year order by month. So we want uh, order by month. Month. So I am I am calling it as a YTD from CT. So this is the query. So if you execute this query, you will get exactly the same ABC, ABC, ABC. See three records. So uh, in earlier I calling it a value. Now I made a result, a result 1950, 1800, 1400. 1850, 1800, and 1950, 2750, 4150. This is the result, 4150. And 1600, 1300, 5150. 1600, 5000, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, have any other year except 2022. So, there are different types of years. So, the year part also segregated accordingly. And finally, we give the month in the order by class to get the final YTD result. So, this is how you need to calculate the YTD year to date sales. How to calculate the year to date sales in SQL is a very important interview question. Advanced SQL interpreter. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.